Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So uh, confusion reigns still on the DAX but the interesting part at the moment is that we've got two pin bars. Okay so we had this uh, shooting star here. It doesn't really look like that pattern is going to play out and we've had uh, two days of where the bulls tried to take control but uh, I'm oh, sorry, the bears try to take control, but the, the bulls actually gain control of the day. So that's what uh, the whole tale is. Remember, opened there, ran all the way down, buyer stepped in, drove it up. Same thing here. Opened there, drove it down, then the buyer stepped in and drove it up. So that's two, two days of buyers coming in. If we look at the three hour, you'll get a little bit more of a, a deeper view of this. So you can see that was... Um, well, what was that? Uh, it was Monday, and this was Tuesday. So the buying happened, sort of, and this one was sort of in the, not quite at the close, but uh, they did come in eventually. And uh, this one we've got a range bar, and then the buyer stepping in right at the close of this market. So I think all that that's done for me really is just highlight two things. First thing is we are still in a bit of a downtrend. We are flirting with the moving average. So in other words, uh, we are sideways right now. And uh, we still haven't really, so we closed above it. We closed above this uh, 13925 on Monday, but yesterday we've sort of closed on it. So it's still 50-50. The, the positive part here is that we've got two uh, lows. Well, we've got a higher low here. Okay, so it's a higher low there. Okay, so what does that mean for me anyway? It pretty much below the moving average and uh, the trend does look like it is to the downside. However, when you look at the outside, and I'm not talking about the overall trend, I'm talking about just this little trend here. If you look at the price action right now, we've got pin bar and we've got pin bar. My oscillator is not helping me at all. And... Um, that is a potential double bottom for me. Obviously a break above this area here of 1400 is what validates that. Now 1400 is a round number and it's obviously going to be targeted by everybody. Uh, so the bears are going to be selling off it and the bulls are going to be buying any break of it to try and push it up. We've got a pretty decent gap to the upside. Okay, uh, which is going to act as a magnet. So for me right now, it, there's no real structure just yet, but we should be paying attention to this area here of 13.925. So again, probably drop down to the 15 on this one. What I'm looking for is a move up, test it, and then come and test this. The, this trend line, okay, and the trend line is not really lining up quite nicely on the 15, but uh, I suppose you get my drift. Okay, but up to the trend line, down, come back and find support somewhere here at 13,925, and then first target is going to be 1400. Expect sellers to come in there, drive it back down, and uh, any break of 1400, then you're looking at this gap close as your first target. Okay, so, so that's kind of the structure that we see. If you look at this on the 15 minute, and I just uh, zoom down a little bit, you can see very clearly we are in a range. Okay, so we are sideways at the moment, and that was pretty much the last two days. So we've been very much in a range, and we're looking for a break of that range to get some structure. So that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment, and what you can do on the lower time frames is delete that trend line and focus on the smaller one which is going to be that one okay so break above uh, 13 13928 or 13930 uh, retest first target is top of the range at 1400 definitely take my profit there I wouldn't be wanting to to try and anticipate a break of that because what you should see on at least the 15 is a break a retest and then a new high that'll give you the opportunity to get in you can use a pretty wide stop uh, something up there uh, it's a 200 point stop loss so it's fairly big but uh, just use a smaller position and then just scale your positions in but that's kind of my view at the moment i think um, more than likely going to just widen the range 
to this gap here so we'll move to the top there then you'll find us move down find structure and then keep zigzagging until we get a break up or a breakdown one of the two okay so that's uh, kind of my view at the moment what could also happen is we could just keep mucking around and just keep getting the range is getting smaller and smaller and smaller while this triangle plays itself out okay here we go that's it for me this morning on the decks um, it is starting to look interesting definitely starting to look like opportunities to uh, either side actually so I'm still not convinced uh, that all the opportunity the upside but uh, we just gotta wait for them and see what transpires anyway hope it helps um, drop us a comment drop us a like don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll catch up with you bright and breezy tomorrow morning uh, enjoy the day cheers for now